Hi guys, so today we're at the Channel Islands National Park Visitor Center, so come check it out with us. Thank you for joining us as we give you a grand tour of this free visitor center. Why do you like an elephant seal? So if you're in the area, this is an amazing place to stop and have a few hours to spend your day and learn and explore with your family. When you arrive, make sure to pick up your free Junior Ranger booklet, which has some fun comic strips and information to read about the Channel Islands. Oh, it's right there. Right there. Right there. The Channel Islands Visitor Center has several interactive displays from reading to touching and locating native plants, animals, and habitats. There is also a book and souvenir area. Our kids love their stuffed fox, dolphin, and they even got some mini sea creatures to play with their Polly Pockets. Coming to the visitor center makes a great day for homeschoolers, kids, families, or taking your grandkids. You can easily spend between an hour to two or three, depending how long you want to make your visit. And it's free, fun, and you get to see the great views at the top of the tower which will take you later on during this video but for us as homeschoolers we use this to introduce our ocean study unit where we took our experiences from today and explored more through books at home I'll leave a link down below but at the time of making this video the center is open from 8 30 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily and on weekends and holidays from 11 to 3 p.m. there is more to the visitor center than meets the eye and there's a lot more to discover than just the visitor center and the souvenir and book area. Let me take you through them. Now follow us outside as you can see the amazing displays of maps, some photo props, and cutouts. And after teaching our kids by going through the maps and diagrams, we took them to a very special place you can either start at the bottom and work your way up going through the stairs or take the elevator up to the third floor and see some marvelous 360 views of the ocean and just getting that bird's eye view is just amazing. Now once you make your way up here, I highly recommend taking the stairs down because the museum and learning does not stop here. Once you see the views, make your way down the stairs. There are a few other eye-opening displays on, on the top floor which show the garbage that's collected in the local oceans and just some of the sea life and things that you'll see as you're there. Now going down the stairwell is just a great surprise that we all Look loved. For my family and I, this was just a fantastic treat. We absolutely love going down this stairwell. So the stairwell is broken up into different layers. Each floor or staircase ends up in a different layer of the ocean. So you start up at the top and you end up in the deep, dark, bottom layer of the ocean and it has pictures and information of what you will see at each stop along the way. It's so informational and a great learning tool for my kids. Oh look, there's a great white shark! Ah! Shipwrecks! Shipwrecks! I wanna see! Whoa! And one thing to take note is that as we continue to descend into the stairwell, so does the lighting. All the details matter here. Oh. That's where it's Yeah. So you can see, you can easily spend a couple of hours here with your friends, family, even make it a nice fun date night. It's free, parking is free, you can't go wrong. You're gonna learn a lot and have some fun as you're doing so. We use these type of trips as an educational experience to enhance our kids' homeschool. It's a hands-on adventure for us that my kids absolutely love, remember, and after all this, there's still a free movie we'll show you at the end. Ocean Checkup. Take a deep dive into the, go ahead. How'd you do that? There's an angler fish with a light up eye and this thing. Like an eel. 
real. So now we're gonna make our way outside. We're gonna let our kids play on these little statues and explore, and then we're gonna make our way into a 25 minute free film in the side theater and just ask the ranger to put it on or they have a scheduled timing where you can see and learn more about the Channel Islands. And trust me when I say you're not gonna wanna miss this quality film. And then finish off your grand day with a day filled at the beach to so bring your shovels, buckets, or sweater depending on what season and the weather is like. But it is a great way to spend the entire day doing a lot of different types of activities for free. And thank you for spending the day with us at the Channel Islands Visitor Center. My name is Stephanie. I'm a homeschool mom to three beautiful kids. And on this channel, I like to share videos on travel, homeschool, family, and motherhood. And it would mean so much to me if you would like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.